Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Today I will show you how to fix catalog match rate in Shopify. So the catalog match rate is essential for running effective ad campaigns on platforms like Facebook or Google Shopping. A low match rate typically occurs when product data like IDs, GTINs, MPNs or barcodes in your Shopify store does not align with the data required by the advertising platform. This guide will show you how to improve your match rates effectively. Step 1 is Understanding Match Rate Issues Match rate issues arise when your Shopify product's data is incomplete or incorrect. Common problems include missing product identifiers like GTIN, MPN or UPC, mismatched product titles or descriptions and missing or incorrect product availability and pricing. To diagnose match rate issues, log into your Facebook Commerce Manager or Google Merchant Center and navigate to the Diagnostic Sense section to view specific errors. Then add or correct product identifiers. So go to Shopify Admin, navigate to Products and open a product then check the barcode like ISBN, UPC, GTIN etc field. Now add global trade item numbers that is GTIN, ensure Every product has a GTIN, UPC, EAN and ISBN. If you don't have GTINs, request them from your supplier or purchase them from the gs1.org. Include manufacturer's part numbers that is MPNs. For custom or handmade products, you can add an MPN instead of GTIN. Enter the MPN in the barcode field or the product description just right here. Then set the accurate product categories. Navigate to products, navigate to edit products, then navigate to organization, navigate to product category and use the correct Google product category or Facebook product category. Now step 3 is optimizing data feed for advertising platforms. So you can use the Google channel app on your Shopify and ensure that all required attributes are added. The title must match your product name, the description must align with your Shopify's product description and the image must use high quality images minimum should be 800 into 800 pixel. Now the GTINs and MPNs these are mandatory for most products. Now second is Facebook Commerce Manager. You can use the Facebook and Instagram channel app on Shopify. Go to data sources, go to catalogs, go to diagnostics to check for missing fields and ensure that products have IDs, prices and availability. You can use data feed apps like feed for Google shopping or Facebook product feed to automate product data analyzing and syncing. Now, now step 4 is fixing a specific match rate errors. So if you have a mismatch in product availability, you can fix it by ensuring that inventory levels in Shopify match the actual stock and you can update inventory under products then navigating to inventory and navigating to edit products and adding the available options products in the available section. Now you can set consistent pricing in Shopify to match the currency and tax inclusive or exclusive settings in your feed settings. So invalid products titles or descriptions. So if you also have incorrect prices, you can set consistent pricing in Shopify to match the currency and tax inclusive or exclusive settings in your feed settings. If you have invalid product titles or descriptions, you can simplify titles, avoid emojis or unnecessary keywords in your product description or title. You can include key attributes like size, color and brands in the title. Now, if you have missing images, check that every product has at least one high resolution image. Now, by following accurate product data, syncing correctly with advertising platforms and regularly diagnosing errors, you can improve your Shopify's store's catalog match rate and this ensures that your products are properly displayed on platforms like Google Shopping and Facebook, boosting ad performance and customer visibility. If you found this guide helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.